The polyscience smoking gun allows you to impart a rich, smoky flavor to all sorts of foods. Foods that you would normally smoke, such as meats or poultry, and then all sorts of other foods that you never imagined could be smoky but are so delicious when they are, such as ice cream, salads, cheeses, soups, drinks, you name it. We're going to have a lot of fun with this one. The smoking gun works by filling this smoking chamber with your favorite flavor of wood chip. But you can use anything really, it doesn't have to be wood chips. Imagine using teas or spices, any sort of flavor that you want to impart on your food. There's an internal fan that draws the smoke down through the chamber and out of this barrel. You can also attach this hose if you want to specifically aim smoke in a certain direction. I've got these four different flavors of wood chips in front of me. Let me show you some of my favorite foods to smoke. Let me show you one of the easiest ways to impart a smoky flavor. Here I have a spinach salad and here I have some apple wood chips. I'm going to take about a pinch or two and fill my smoking chamber. And I'll show you a couple of different techniques that you can use. That's probably good. I'm going to turn on the smoker and then light the chips. Ooh, and we already have some smoke. So an easy technique is to simply aim the hose right over the food that you'd like to be smoked. But if you'd like a more concentrated flavor, you can cover your food and direct the tube right at your food. Now you can always leave the cover on. This will concentrate the smoky flavor and also give your guests a big surprise when they lift the lid. Another great smoking technique is to put your food in a sealable bag and smoke it that way to concentrate the flavors. Today I'm going to smoke some sea salt. This way I'll have some smoky salt that I can sprinkle over lots of other food and impart that smoky flavor. I've packed my smoking chamber with hickory chips. I'm now going to light it and smoke the salt. I've already put the tube into my Ziploc bag to really concentrate that flavor. And it doesn't take much time at all. I roasted a whole chicken in the oven, but I want to smoke it so it tastes as if I had grilled it on the barbecue. I've covered my chicken with plastic wrap and I've filled my smoking chamber with cherry wood chips. Let's turn it on, light it, and smoke the chicken. I'm going to insert the end of the tube right underneath my plastic wrap and shoot the smoke right over that chicken. Great. For a more concentrated flavor, I'm going to put down the plastic wrap and let the chicken sit in the smoke for a couple of minutes. One of the most adventurous ways to use your smoky gun is for drinks. I've seen people use tobacco to make a smoky Manhattan. Today I'm going to use mesquite and to make a smoky Bloody Mary. I've already filled my chamber with mesquite. I'm going to turn on the smoking gun, light it, and infuse some great smoky flavor. Let's give this a good shake to really mix in that smoky flavor and pour it into my glass with the garnish. Now those are just a few uses of the smoking gun from salads to salt, chicken to your favorite cocktails. I'm sure you will find many, many creative ways to add a smoky flavor to your favorite foods. Mm -hmm.